we really appreciate everybody who took the time here this evening to come and join us so we could unveil and announce to you our 2021 new product lineup for SnowX. Um, we're, we're very thankful that you came. Um, I know it's later in the day and we're really excited to show you um, everything we have to offer. And we have a great panel of experts here that are gonna walk through and showcase the product line. Um, I'm Jennifer Wolf. I'm the advertising manager uh, for SnowX. I'm actually really close to celebrating my first birthday on the SnowX team. So this is my first summer working for a snow and ice control company. Um, and what I've learned is that summer is basically just another season where all you think about is snow is just really hot, like the thermostat gets stuck. Um, and with that, um, I will, Tracy is actually joining us um, from the airport. So she's traveling around, uh, which is, she, she has a smile. Um, it is wonderful. And Tracy, I'll let you introduce yourself. Hi, all. My name is Tracy Fisher Gates. I'm the North American Sales Manager for SnowX Projects, coming to you live from the Denver airport. Um, in the middle of going out and visiting customers, because we're able to now. So we're very excited to be presenting these new products and looking forward to hearing your questions and your feedback on what we're going to present today. Hello, everyone. I want to say thank you for uh, joining us and for your interest in our new products. My name is Tyler Jones. I'm the product manager for SnowX. And uh, I want to say that I've been working with the company for almost 15 years. And the most enjoyable aspect of uh, my work over that time has been working with the people. I know that some of the uh, teammates that helped develop these products are tuned into this. Um, so kudos to all of them and their hard work, uh, but especially to the interest of our customers, uh, working with the customers and communicating with them over these years has been uh, truly enjoyable for me. Well, perfect. Uh, Tracy, uh, John Knott Jr. says, hello, he just saw you this morning. So um, he's vouching <laughs> the fact that you're really in the airport. And I saw him too. So thank you. So uh, before we, we get started, we just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a lay of the land as to what you're going to experience here this afternoon. So normally we would be at SIMA, um, being able to walk around products, being able to see it and, and take you on a live walk around. But they did make the decision to move that to August, which we're really excited to hope we get to see you guys all in Cleveland uh, for that event. But we wanted to make sure that you guys had the first chance to be able to see new product, even if it had to be virtual. So we worked really hard to bring all the product and do a video walk around that gives you the opportunity to have Tyler, who is our product expert, take you around the main features of that product and do some zoom in so you so it's the next best alternative to being able to see that live. Um, after that, we will transition back to a live Q&A session. So as you're watching the pre-recorded video, you will see two options down at the bottom in your toolbar for Zoom. Um, one is a chat. So if there's anything that you wanna tell us as the panelists, you can use that chat function and that will come right in here to me. Um, if you guys have a question though about any of the new products or any of the content that you see in the video, please use the Q&A button. Um, that allows us to register that as a question and make sure that that gets delivered directly to either Tracy or um, Tyler once we're in that live Q&A session. Um, also, once we do get into that live Q&A session, if there's any questions that come up because it, you know a question before spurns it, please go ahead and type that because we'll work it into the, the question list um, that's developed throughout the presentation. Um, we do have limited amount of time, so we do want to let you guys know that we will be focusing on questions relating to the new products we're introducing today. If you do have a question that's related to a product that we haven't introduced, we will follow up with you after the fact via email um, to make sure that you get an answer, but we might not have the time to address that live. Um, we have put some links, um, if you are a little later to arrive in the chat function, that provides you links to both our dealer locator and our vehicle match, um, because a lot of the questions uh, that might come up might be answered by those two links directly. Um, so with all of that, we will get started and share with you our exciting new products for 2021. Grab every opportunity. Don't cut corners. Consider every angle. Stay ahead of the curve. Put in the hours. Keep your promises. Stay humble and be hungry. You don't get respect, you earn it. You earn it with dedication, 
You earn it with commitment. We know this because we're right there with you, taking every breakthrough and building on it. Committed to new technologies and innovation. We've revolutionized the truck industry for snow and ice control. And now we're taking everything we've built, everything we've learned, everything we've engineered, and are bringing it to the UTVs and compact tractors. Rise to the challenge, meet it head on, and overcome. You earn respect. You make your mark with SnowX. Introducing the all-new mid-duty UTV straight blade snowplow and the all-new Drop Pro 250 and Drop Pro 600 stainless steel drop spreaders. Hello and welcome. My name is Tyler Jones. I'm a product manager for SnowX and I want to tell you a little bit about myself before we get further into the products. See, I've worked in the snow and ice control industry since I got out of college, almost 15 years. And it's given me a great opportunity over the years to always learn more. See, I started in the tech service department, and that's where I focused on supporting dealers and end users, addressing product function technical issues. It allowed me to obviously understand the product and these applications at a deep level, but I really particularly enjoyed interfacing with the customers. From a young age, I've always been motivated to help people. I worked alongside my dad in the earthworking industry, and he also plowed snow. I saw his frustrations for when his product let him down, when his machinery let him down. And it instilled in me a desire to someday be involved in product development and build technical solutions to make work more efficient, but also durable quality products so I could curb some of that frustration that I saw growing up. Now these two products here are developed specifically for sidewalk maintenance. And that's important because that's an area where there's significant challenges in finding labor and also efficiency. This drop spreader here is the preferred tool for de-icing sidewalks, very precise with how it applies de-icing material. And the MD plow has been developed specifically for mid-size UTVs. It's been, again, really interesting to see UTVs emerge in the market, but especially to see them evolve into so many segments. The mid-size is relatively new. These units are more compact, smaller wheelbase, and have a little bit uh, smaller engine size. That means that there is a need for a specific plow with lower amperage draw, lighter weight, but still big plow durability and big plow features. These smaller units are ideal for sidewalk management when you compare them to some of the larger, more heavy duty units in the market. So from there, let's start taking a look closer at the product features, starting with the MD plow. Here's a short animated video that'll break those down before we get more in depth.
Well, let's take a closer look at the plow. For starters, it's 19 and a half inches tall, available in two widths, either the 66 inch width, which is great for mid-sized UTVs, or a wider 72 inch width, which you'll find pairs nicely with a wider sport recreation models. The plow features a unique characteristic that you won't find in other UTV plows, and that's the sway frame. It solves an inherent issue, whereas the plow will offset to one side as you angle from left or right. The sway frame is designed to offset that and maintain perfect alignment with the wheel track of the machine, which is going to produce far better results when plowing. The plow is powered by our complete hydraulics for full left and right angle and raise. The hydraulics are engineered and built by us in-house and feature a lot of the same components that we use in our larger truck mounted plows. The electrical system is designed for this application and again shares all the same characteristics as what we use in our truck mounted plows. The harnesses are protected in convoluted tubing, weather pack sealed connectors, and the single connection point at the front when you attach the plow is a heavy duty molded connector with durable corrosion resistant pins. The hydraulic unit is also protected by a molded poly cover. The control is IP66 rated to resist moisture and the control also has been set up so that you can either handheld or mount it to the dash. The brackets are included and you can decide which preference you prefer. The mount is a really significant area of this product. We put a lot of emphasis in this area because we learned it was one of the greatest opportunities in UTV plows. With solutions that are hard to use, impede on ground clearance, or just aren't durable enough for commercial use, we solved all those problems. We have a mount which in most cases removes the receivers when you are not using the plow and you want to restore your ground clearance. Otherwise, the plow is built from heavy duty components uses two connecting pins, which easily uh, pull out and have a storage location which locks the plow in alignment. And with that and the jack leg, allow you to leave the plow in a perfect position so that when you go to reattach, everything is aligned and slides in easily. The accessories for the product include this rubber deflector shown here, which improves snow rolling, prevents snow from coming up on the hood of the machine. We also have wear shoes available, which help promote blade float when plowing over sensitive surfaces, such as uh, decorative pavers or concrete. Uh, and also, another good solution for that would be the poly cutting edge that we offer. And last is a high wear cutting edge, which is thicker and ideal for extended use applications. So now that we've taken a closer look at the plow, we will shift over to the drop spreader. We will have a Q&A, so if you have questions about the plow, I'm happy to answer those later. So check out this animation video, and I'll be right back.
So now that you've seen the highlights, let's take a closer look at the new stainless steel drop spreaders. The Drop Pro 600 and Drop Pro 250 are designed specifically for sidewalk de-icing applications. The units precisely drop material straight down at a width of 36 inches. So the 600 is a six cubic foot capacity and fully loaded comes in at around 650 pounds. The smaller 250 model holds 2.5 cubic feet of material and fully loaded comes in at about 350 pounds. We selected 36 inch for the spread width intentionally. We analyzed different spread widths in the efficiency or overuse of salt. And what we found was that competitive units which are offered in wider packages have a tendency of producing more turf damage. And the reason is when you drop hard granular material, as it dissolves into a brine, it will leach and migrate outwards. So with the narrower spread width on a typical sidewalk, you're gonna end up with the perfect application of de-icing brine with no turf damage. For additional material control, if you're doing double pass on a large sidewalk, the narrower width is gonna reduce the amount of overlap that's inherent with wider spreaders. For additional control, there are baffles which control the spread width by three inch increments on each side. The units both feature this durable molded poly lid for keeping elements out of the material. And underneath this is a fully stainless steel top screen. The top screen also features a convenient bag splitter, which when loading the material allows you to simply throw a bag on top, drag it over the splitter, and it drops all the material instantly down into the unit. This saves a lot of time when compared to cutting open a bag and pouring it in. The units, as you can tell, are fully stainless steel. They use high strength steel rivets to lock the panels into position. And all of the items throughout the spreader have been carefully selected to reduce downtime and reduce maintenance. A great example are the oil-filled poly bearings that we selected rather than greasable steel bearings. The poly bearings require no grease or maintenance and they have an extended service life that exceeds those of steel bearings. Now, downtime also comes into when you're done spreading and because of that, we've developed a very easy to use drop trough. To clean out the unit, simply drop the trough straight down and the material will be left clean and ready to operate next time it snows. There's also a molded poly shield which protects the direct drive motor and gearbox. These are completely maintenance free, no sprockets or chains that need lubrication or maintenance over time. The harnesses for the units are designed specifically for this application. They're protected by convoluted tubing, feature weather pack sealed connectors, and the single connection point when you attach the unit to a machine features heavy duty molded rubber that can't be plugged in backwards. The control for the unit is a variable speed single knob and also features buttons to operate the accessories. Electronic accessories include strobe light, a work light, or a vibrator kit. Additionally, you can purchase a height extension collar for both units, which is going to increase the 600 up to 8 cubic foot capacity and the 250 up to 4 cubic foot capacity. These machines come standard with three attachment options. Everything is included to attach the unit to a three point hitch, a two inch receiver hitch, or in bed mount. The applications are really based on the amount of payload or weight that the machine is designed to carry. We have a Q&A coming up. I'm looking forward to engaging with you answering any of the questions that you may have. So stay tuned.
So what do you guys all think? That seems like a pretty good product lineup for 2021. Um, really, as Tyler mentioned throughout the, the video, looking at figuring out ways that we can really look at that ultimate sidewalk machine and how we can automate something that is just kind of painful and, and difficult to do um, and make it a lot less labor intensive. Um, so just for anyone who might have joined during the, the video presentation, we just wanted to take a, a quick opportunity just to reintroduce ourselves. Um, I'm Jennifer Wolf. I'm the Advertising Manager for SnowX. And I am Tracy Fisher Gates, the uh, National Sales Manager for SnowX. Unfortunately, I'm in the airport, so I apologize for the mask. My name is Tyler Jones. Uh, you've all heard a lot about me, uh, but I'm the Product Manager behind the, uh, these products that you're seeing today. We did have um, some questions come in throughout the presentation. Um, as we go through and answer them now, we'll probably take the next 20 to 25 minutes to answer all those questions that have come up. Um, if there is any other questions, um, though, that you haven't had a chance to ask, please use that Q&A function at the bottom um, and type in your question, and then I will make sure that that gets asked uh, to either Tracy or Tyler, depending upon the content. Um, so with that, um, I also wanted to direct your attention to the chat function. We do have our dealer locator where you can find our SnowX uh, local dealer, as well as our vehicle match. So you can go on there and find the plow that is the best fit for the vehicle that you're looking for. Um, and this is, it doesn't matter what type of vehicle, whether it's UTV or truck, um, it's one system that works for you. So with that, uh, let us start going through these questions we've had come in. Uh, so the first question, uh, Tyler, this is a great one for you. Um, does the UTV mid-duty plow come only with hydraulic raise and angle? A great question. Yeah, and I'll respond by saying, uh, again, we focused on the professional snow and ice contractor um, as a rule with Snow X. And that's why we knew that a full featured uh, hydraulic plow was the uh, the right solution for you know professional sidewalk maintenance and that uh, a lesser product wasn't going to meet the efficiency uh, standards that we set going going into the project perfect uh we that's a great answer tyler um we've actually had a, a question come in um here through our through our chat um here in session that i just want to make sure we have a chance to answer uh, so Tracy, this is directly uh, from Marlon Weaver. Um, he is wondering um, if these products will also be sold uh, through Fisher and the Western brands. Um, yes, so they will be sold through Fisher and Western brands. Um, however, they will be branded as such. So SnowX will be SnowX product and Fisher will be Fisher products and Western will be Western products. Perfect. Great. Um, if anyone is interested in the Fisher or Western versions, uh, we do have um, other um, sessions where we're actually discussing those specific products. Uh, but right now, very much focused on our Snow X products coming out for 2021. Um, Tyler, um, actually, this is a question. Uh, Tyler, if you wanted to start with this one, and Tracy, if you have anything to add, um, what's the price on our mid duty UTV plow? For I have a golden you know. question, right? Um, I'll tell you that the there are two sizes for the MD plow. Um, the smaller five and a half foot unit is around thirty two hundred dollars, and the larger six foot unit is around thirty three hundred dollars. And I just want to add that you can go to the dealer locator to find the dealer that's closest to you where you can purchase these products. In addition to quoting you a specific price. They'll also be able to quote installation and the time and so forth that you're going to need to to also understand about the installation of the product. Perfect. Great. Um, you know, like anything, we can give a list price, but really the dealers are the ones that are going to be able to, to help make that all happen and make sure that they get you everything that you need with installation as well, if needed, um, which is a great segue into the next question, uh, because that was one of the, our attendees had wanted to know. Um, Tracy, I think this is great for you with your connection to our dealers. Um, how long does the UTV Meduti plow take to install? So typical installation should, should take between a half to a full day. Again, I would reference the dealer locator to find the dealer closest to you. He'll be able to tell you about the schedule availability and also 
approximately how long it would take for his team to install um, the product. Um, Tyler, this uh, question actually just came in right now uh, from Christopher Lugin. Um, he is wondering if the scrape max down pressure will be added as an option to our UTV plow. Uh, actually, no. Uh, one of the targets for the parameters for this product was to keep uh, weight down. And for that reason, we have um, a little bit limited lift system when compared to our full featured uh, truck plows. Perfect, great Tyler. I think that goes right into the presentation when you had mentioned that this new mid-duty plow really is built specifically for that mid-duty product and that amperage usage and weight is really important um, to make sure that we have that full compatibility. Um, just, it looks like uh, we've got a question here on our stainless steel drop spreaders. Um, once again, I think this is a great, um, Tyler, if you wanted to start with this one and Tracy can follow up. Um, but now the question is, what is that list or retail price on our stainless steel drop spreaders? Uh, great question. The next uh, burning question that I'd expect to answer, so very happy to. Uh, if you recall, there's two models of the stainless drop spreader. The smaller, uh, 250, is about $3,500, and the larger 600, which is a six cubic foot, is around $3,800. And remember that within that price, you're getting everything you need to upfit and install that uh, unit, regardless if it's on a tractor with a three-point hitch or a two-inch receiver hitch or even in bed. That's an out-the-door price. And I'm just going to add again uh, for this specific pricing information to go ahead and contact your local dealer because again they can provide the specific pricing they can in, uh, they can provide the installation times and also schedule for you. Perfect. Um, the, the next question, um, Tyler, I think you're going to be really excited about this one. Um, what is the benefit of that patent pending sway frame feature. Perfect. Yes, I really like this feature. It's one of the flagship uh, characteristics of this product that make it truly unique in the market. Again, we made uh, both the spreader and the MD plow with sidewalk uh, solutions in mind. And one of the issues that we learned from speaking with uh, the users was that um, Trailing snow and packed snow was one of the problems that they were seeing uh, in precision plowing such, uh, you know, a narrow application such as a sidewalk. What the plows tend to do as you angle full right or full left is they actually shift uh, a couple or a few inches off to each side respectively. So what the sway frame accomplishes is it effectively offsets that natural uh, offset that occurs otherwise and makes sure that the blade stays perfectly aligned with the wheel track of the machine, allowing you to have better blade control, reduce property damage, turf damage, and prevent packed snow, which requires you to go back through on another pass, a highly inefficient uh, the situation in a, in a considerable issue for other products. Perfect. Yeah, as Tyler mentioned, this this feature really is great. Anytime that we can have patent pending and those new features um, that really are ours to own, we're able to really take the service that we provide to our snow and ice contractors to that next level. Um, and this is really one of those features that allow us to do that. Um, and that's what we look for right up front is how can we get this product out there and be truly unique in the market and offer real benefits to customers. Perfect. Um, we actually did have um, a question um, going back to our stainless steel drop spreaders uh, coming in here um, in the Q&A session directly from uh, Steve Manthe. Um, he was just wondering if you could go through, Tyler, um, some of the advantages of the stainless steel drop spreaders or drop pros over the, the existing poly unit. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The uh, poly unit is definitely an admirable machine. It is the right tool for sidewalk applications, uh, but it's been some time since we developed that product. And that's why with this new one, 
we wanted to take efficiency and downtime even further. If, if you watch the walk around, you learned about uh, maintenance free bearings, direct drive, um, and even features which help promote material flow and easy clean out. So um, I think that uh, it's, it's gonna be advantageous to uh, go back through and uh, you know, revitalize the poly version as well. Perfect. Uh, another question directly here from our Q&A session. Um, we, we have a few people that are just asking, um, are we going to have light kits or headlights um, as options for MD plow? Um, Tyler, I guess this would probably fall into that accessory conversation. Yeah, I love that train of thought. Um, we love putting uh, accessories out there to help uh, configure the unit better for each user case. However, in the instance of the MD plow, we have not developed a headlight system for it, citing the reason that uh, the blade is lower than our other HD UTV plows and tend to impede on the existing headlights uh, that much less. We didn't want to burden the product uh, with additional weight, as again, that was a central focus for the development was amperage draw and weight. Um, we are always developing new accessories. We have a whole portion of our business dedicated to it. So um, always looking for feedback or suggestions of um, additional tools and ways we can improve the products. Perfect. Um, I, I know our parts and accessories product manager would be really exciting for new accessories. So definitely a, a good conversation for the future. Um, moving forward to the next question, um, Tyler, this is um, on both our mid-duty UTV plow as well as our stainless steel drop spreaders. Uh, what vehicles do these models work best on? A really good question, an important one to understand going into, uh, you know, with intentions of purchasing this product. Starting with the MD plow, uh, as we've said, we, we focused on mid-size UTVs for the development of this product. Um, lower amperage draw parameters um, and lower payload capacities are common with mid-size UTVs. So we wanted a plow appropriate for those. Additionally, however, there's an opportunity in a very large portion of the UTV segment, which is the sport recreational uh, segment. And those units are not built for utility. They don't boast high amperage draw or payload capacities. The larger uh, six foot version of the MD plow, we've tucked in there to be again, an, uh, also an ideal solution for homeowners, any plower that's looking to add utility and value to their sport recreation models. Um, on the drop spreader side, uh, it varies. Again, we've provided standard mount options for various applications. You want to factor the loaded weight of about 650 pounds on the 600 and 350 pounds on the 250. Because if you're putting a drop spreader into a UTV, there is varying payload capacity at the rear of the machine. Most midsize are lined up with the 250 and heavy duty uh, full size UTVs in some instances will accept the fully loaded 600 unit. Uh, as far as tractors and the three point hitch, if it fits on a sidewalk and it has three point, then that's a valid application for either units. Because the drop spreader um, is applicable as an in bed mount, provides the two inch receiver and the three point hitch, it can really be mounted to just about anything that's out doing the work on sidewalks. Yeah, that, that is a great advantage to that drop spreader that you get all of those mounts standard with the product. So you really have full, um, full ability to fit it on a wide variety of, of vehicles for sure. Um, the next uh, a question that came in, Tracy, I think this is a perfect one for you um, and, and one we're really excited to get. And that is, when will the new UTV plows and drop spreaders be available at our dealer locations? Great question. And actually, that's the reason why I'm in Denver right now. So our dealers are currently placing their orders for their equipment. 
um, they should expect to receive the, the dealer should expect to receive the equipment late summer, probably that August, September timeframe. Um, but if you're interested now, I would certainly give your local dealer a call, express interest. We can certainly answer any questions that you have about it um, and kind of begin from there. Great. Um, we did have a, a question actually come in here uh, while we, we have been active in our Q&A session. Um, is this uh, currently on the vehicle or power match system yet? Uh, Tyler, I think that this would uh, be, be in your wheelhouse for sure. Yes, it is. As a matter of fact, um, you can go in uh, right now and, and see if, that you, if you have an application available for the MD plow. I will add that we are not done making mounts. We will uh, be ongoing, such as the case with truck mounts, will be ongoing development of um, additional application mount kits as new models are released, um, as new models trend. And also important is the feedback that we get into um, our info at SnowX page, the inquiries that come in through the website we pay attention to those and uh, they help drive our, our research and, and the opportunities that we pursue. Perfect. Um, the, the next question, um, Tyler, uh, this, is, this one is coming your way. Uh, the new products this year for the 2021 season are very focused on utility vehicles. Um, is SnowX changing its focus from work truck attachments? Uh, yeah, that's that's a reasonable question, um, but I'll tell you, we're not changing our focus at all. We've been focused on professional snow and ice uh, solutions for contractors, and we're still committed to that. We find that one of the greatest current challenges is sidewalk maintenance. It's an area where manual labor is being converted over to uh, mechanized solutions and driving more efficiency, more value for um, operators for business owners. So our commitment's the same. It's to best solutions in snow and ice. And that's going to take us to uh, some small products and some huge products. But we're going to be a total supplier for those customers. Very well. I, I like that a lot. I mean, basically giving our snow and ice contractors a full portfolio of products that really help them make their mark and get the job done as efficiently and quickly as possible. Um, moving on, uh, we did receive um, a question here during our live Q&A session um, from Ken Bogman. Um, Tyler, I think this is coming your way, asking this time about our stainless steel uh, drop spreader accessories. And if we have, so this is a little bit of a two-part question, so I'll ask the first part first. Um, are strobe and work light kits available for the, the new drop spreader line? They are, yes. And if you're familiar with uh, our other hopper accessories, uh, these are, are very much the same. The, to operate those accessories, it's integrated right into the control. Uh, there's no additional switches or complicated installation. Everything's plug and play. And you even have uh, mounting hardware and holes to bolt everything up. So we've, um, we've done uh, our due diligence to, to make those accessories easy to upfit. Um, and I think you might have answered the second part of the question without even knowing it, but I'm going to ask the question anyway and let you um, hit it head on. Um, will these lights uh, be Fleet Flex wired and controlled from the controller in the cab? Yeah, yeah. As I said, um, pretty much that's our philosophy uh, with any of the products. Develop a good core product that suits most everybody's needs, but also develop tailored accessories to help uh, maximize efficiency in specific user cases. And making those accessories easy to integrate is uh, paramount. Perfect. Um, Tracy, uh, the next question um, is, is coming your way. Um, how is SnowX guaranteeing that our dealer network will fully support the attachments for utility vehicles and compact equipment? So we've carefully worked to create an independent dealer network that's committed to supporting snow and ice control attachments. Um, for UTVs and tractors and so forth. So what I would recommend that you do to find your specific dealer for what you're looking for is go to the SnowX dealer locator in the chat box, select the vehicle type, and then from there you can find the dealers that support the product in your area. Thank you for that question. This 
So Tyler, we had a, a question come in uh, on our UTV plow, um, specifically asking to describe the paint process that we use for our mid-duty UTV plow. Question, and I'll tell you, I think that's an area of our operation that uh, is underrated. Um, for the amount of science and you know, quality controls that we have in our coding system, uh, it really should be appreciated as one of our key features. Uh, we've got a shot blast is really the first phase where the product is 100% um, blasted to create that a rough surface, which promotes the mechanical adhesion of the powder coat later on. It also removes any slags or kind of oddities that may exist on the surface of the steel. Uh, the next phase is a multi-stage zinc wash um, that not only removes oils and contamination that may be on the steel from manufacturing, uh, but it actually pre-treats the steel and further helps prevent corrosion. The next phase is a really important one and it's one that is unique with our product. It's certainly not something you see um, typical with powder coating. And that is a powder-based epoxy primer coat that it's gray, like traditional primer, but it's powder coat applied. And it promotes adhesion of the final top coat, which uh, is a very sophisticated formula. We've worked hard and over the years um, with suppliers of the powder to develop something with maximum um, durability from an adhesion standpoint, but also pigment to reduce fading and even gloss retention. I can tell you that the compounds we're using in our powder coat system are the same things that are developed uh, to be put on things like bridges and skyscrapers, things that get uh, a tremendous amount of sun exposure and there's data to support the advantages uh, behind these materials. Yeah, we want to make sure, I mean, when a snow and ice control contractor comes up to, to service their property, we want to make sure that you guys look as great as possible. And that's why there's so much time and effort, as Tyler just explained, to go into um, how we finish the products to make sure that they are and, you know, that they look great um, no matter how long you've owned them and, you know, how many winters they've been through. Try to keep that um, lasting good as long as possible. Um, so we are coming up. We probably have time for about two to three more questions. Uh, we have to make sure that Tracy catches her next flight. Um, so with that, uh, we did get a question um, from Perry. Um, Tracy, this is probably a great question from you, especially with um, all your travels this week and talking to the dealers um, and knowing where we are from a stocking standpoint, but how is it looking this year for dealers uh, with inventory? Um, do we think that we'll have them fully stocked? Yes, and uh, yes, yes, and yes. I think that absolutely the dealers will be ready for it to meet the demand. Um, I, I will say, I think that um, there may be uh, more of a uh, uh, that I, I think that there may be more of a demand for the UTV vehicles that are out there than our ability to actually supply the new ones that are coming online. So in short, we will be able to deliver the product, especially the midway UTV product this, this season, and we're looking forward to you guys trying it out. Like anything, if you want one, call early because that's definitely your, your best chance to get one. Um, and then also too, to make sure that you can get that installation scheduled and, and get on the books with the dealers, um, especially as we get closer to the winter season. Um, so with that, we probably have time for about two more questions. Um, so um, if anybody has a final question, uh, please throw it in the chat and we'll make sure that uh, we get to it either live or we'll follow up with you after the fact via email. Um, but one of the two final questions, um, Tyler, this one's for you. With the mid-duty UTV plow, what components need to be purchased in order to get those installed on um, a mid-duty UTV vehicle? Good question. Uh, typical of a, a UTV plow that we offer, which means you do have to select a blade because there's two different sizes. Uh, along with the blade is the hydraulic lift assembly. Uh, that's going to be consistent regardless of which blade size uh, you choose and uh, the mount as well, uh, which is going to be unique to obviously each vehicle. Um, the controls provided and what's really neat about the control is you don't have the option of 
dash mount or handheld. What's even better, you get both. Uh, the control comes configured in the pistol grip configuration those, that easily detaches and uh, you can use the provided stainless brackets to dash mount it if you choose. Great. And, and once again, that's the power of the dealer network. Um, visit your local dealer and they'll make sure that you get all those components and, and they talk through what your preference is. So everything to get installed the way that you prefer it from the very beginning. Well, and accessories too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so uh, Tyler, uh, this question actually uh, came in uh, from Jack. Uh, so this will be our final question. Um, so we're, we're really glad everybody was able to join us. Um, if there are any other questions that anyone has off the top of their mind, please put them in the, in the, the Q&A chat because we will make sure that we get those answered um, via email after uh, the session. Um, but um, Tyler, Jack is just um, asking about um, with the new UTV attachments we've talked about today, how do those fit into the, the line of the HD plows that we currently offer? Yeah, so uh, our initial products, we first came out with the V plow, as a matter of fact, several years ago. Uh, we then added a straight blade to that mix. Uh, we found limitations where uh, some of the, the bigger growth segments, the sport recreation and the midsize markets, we didn't really have the ideal solution. Our, our HD plows, again, have a little bit higher amperage draw and um, some additional weight when compared to the midsize. So <clears throat> again, it's really a matter of what is your application, um, but also your user uh, preference because we do offer the V-plow in the HD as well. Of course, the V-plow is uh, inherently heavier uh, than a straight blade, and um, it, it doesn't mean that we may find opportunity uh, to continue uh, building on the MB line and build a you know, lighter duty V-plow, always looking for, again, feedback um, and desires from our customer audience. Uh, so encourage you all to shoot us emails with what you're looking for. Perfect. Um, once again, we wanted to say thank you very much. Um, we're, we're coming here close to, to 50 minutes that you guys have given us out of your day. We're really excited to have you all here um, so we could showcase our new product line for 2021 um, into 2022 because I know we're all excited about snow. Um, and the next winter season. So as I mentioned before, we will be attending um, SnowX all SIMA events. So we have um, one in Minneapolis uh, the end of July, July 27th through 29th. Uh, we will be in our SIMA uh, Cleveland event, um, August 18th through 20th that you can sign up for. Um, and then Pennsylvania, um, the end of August, first part of September. So all these products will be there on display that you guys can actually look at and walk around, as well as the fact that you can use that dealer locator um, to reach out to your local dealer uh, to schedule a time that you could look at one that they have an in inventory once they start hitting the field. Um, if we didn't have a chance to get to your question, we will answer it after the fact via email. Um, and just very grateful for everyone tuning in. Um, you guys did get a sneak peek, uh, so you will actually see all this information um, hit the SnowX website uh, next week. Um, so right now you guys have insider information. So get ahead of all of that uh, demand that'll be created once everyone else knows about it um, and start having those conversations if there's anything that's interesting to you. Um, so with that, the SnowX team would like to say thank you very much. We really appreciate your time. Thank you guys, really appreciate it. Bye.